Have you ever heard anybody talk about drivers when it comes to computers? I need to update a driver. I need to install a driver. This term gets thrown around a lot, but it isn't very often explained well. Here's the central concept. A computer is now a staple of the home and the business place. It's been that way for decades. And so there's lots of companies that make things that work with computers. A typical one might be a printer. You might have one at home or at work. Well, here's the thing is when the people who make printers are manufacturing them, they've got no idea what kind of computer you're going to have. And your computer has no idea what kind of printers it might be hooked up to. So we need a way for various combinations of printers and computers to communicate. And it might not even be a printer. What we're talking about here is anytime a computer needs to interact with another device, it needs to communicate back and forth. Well, what we need to do is make it so that can happen. The way that's done is through a specialized computer program called the driver. The origin of the word is this. The driver program gets installed onto a computer and allows that computer to drive or run the attached device. And let's just use a printer for our example. Let's say you buy a printer from a company called Brother. Brother makes printers. And you have a computer that runs Windows. Maybe the computer is manufactured by Dell. So these are typical combinations. You have a Dell computer. It's running an operating system called Windows. And you buy a Brother printer. You want to attach to it. Well, here's what has to happen for that to work. The company Brother that makes that printer needs to get a hold of all the specifications for a Dell computer with Windows installed of that exact model and figure out how does that computer interact with our printer. And they need to write a specialized program just for that exact combination. For this computer, with this operating system, these exact internal parts, working with this exact model of brother printer, let's make a computer program that lets them communicate. Let's that computer run the printer send print jobs to it, keep track of what's going on, they receive error codes back and display those error codes on the, on, the, you know, on the computer, right? So that's what a driver is. It's a specialized program that allows a specific combination of computer hardware and software to communicate and interact with an external device attached to that computer. Now, you can well imagine that any specific manufacturer of devices would have many drivers we'd have to create. And this is the case. And also, if they want to change something about the way that printer operates or interacts with the computer, they might need to update the driver. And this is where that thing I referred to at the beginning of this video comes into play, which is, so you might hear the phrase, I need to update my drivers. Well, hopefully now you know what that means. It means that your computer has a tiny computer program on it called the driver. It was installed there because there's a specific device that needs to attach to that computer and your computer needed a way to work with that device. And so that driver was installed to make that possible. And then something came along that made the, that driver, that little teeny computer program, need to have a fix, a correction, an upgrade of some sort, add some functionality or correct something that's wrong. And so that installation of that driver needs to happen. How does that happen? Well, typically, like someone will do it for you if, we're, if you work at a company or if it's your own personal device, like the printer is yours, you might need to go to the website from the manufacturer of that device, in this example, brother, find your exact model of printer and your exact computer combination and download the exact right driver and install the new updated version. So there you have it, drivers.